mind-blowing tutorial on selling ads youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design this algo ventures logo okay so every resource that i'll be using in this video will be linked in the description so that you can go ahead and download and practice as you watch this video okay so remember that there's going to be a password on it so just watch this video to the end and you're gonna see the password and use it to open the file all right so without further ado let's jump into it so quickly let me delete this test over here and so we are going to be using shapes mostly so we tap on shapes then we tap on a drop down arrow over here then we go for this triangle we increase the size a bit Uh, this is okay then we change the color to black preferably any color at all you want you can use it okay so once that is done we come back and import the same shape again but this time we use the size of it okay Alright, I think this is okay. So what you will do is to make sure you position them at the middle of your workspace by using what we call the relative position tool. So you come here, you tap on the middle icon at the top and come back, select the black shape, do the same thing, tap on the middle icon at the top so that they align perfectly. Now you can use the position tool to make sure that the bottom also align perfectly. So you drop this one down a bit then you leave it like that now the next thing to do is to match these two shapes okay so you go to layer panel then you tap on this icon at the down here then you select this two after selecting it you tap on the match tool then you tap on ok once that is done come back to erase color then remove the background just like this now you can come back to color then make sure you just emphasize the color over here to be black now once that is done we are going to insert another shape again the same shape and we are going to reduce the size as usual you can change the color to any one that you like okay but I'm still going to use black for this one. So just watch it carefully. Alright, so once that is done, I'll tap on a check mark. Go and position this one two at the middle like this. Now what I have to do is to make sure that they are in alignment. Okay. The bottom of the big one and the small one should be the same. Once that is done, I can just go ahead and lock this layer. And come back and insert another shape again the same shape and this time around I'll reduce the size very small okay once that is done I'll tap on the check mark come to the relative position to position at the middle then use the position tool and push it all the way down have to make sure that the bottom align well okay once that is done I'll go back to the layer panel and match the two top shapes this one and this one so we match them like this then go back to erase color then we erase it perfectly like this again you can also come back and make the color prominent by selecting the same black all right so basically that is the first stage okay so once you've done that just make sure that you match these two so that they will not distract you whilst you are designing okay so we are done with that all that we need to do is to push this test to one side like this this shape rather so the next thing we are going to do is to input our test which is algo ventures so we are going to delete this then we write algo ventures 
Note this is an imaginary logo that I'm just designing. It's not for any business. Okay, there's there's no business for Argo Ventures out there known by me. Okay, as at the time I'm designing this logo. So what I'll do is go to font and select a particular font for it. I'll select this one and once again every font that I'm using over here there is a link in the description that will take you to the font that you need to use okay so once i'm satisfied with this i can leave the color like that or change the color to any other color that i wish to use i just have to make sure that everything is in alignment okay so basically that is it and the next thing to do is to make sure that i clear the background so i'll come to background color and tap on transparent so i'll have it like this the next thing to do is to save it as a png once we are done saving it then we will go to photopia.com and continue from there but before we go ahead in case you don't have access to my free ebook on graphic designing for that matter smartphone graphic designing which literally will show you everything that you need to know about graphic designing the principles the rules the elements and anything at all that you want to know about graphic designing is in that book it's a free book and i'm going to leave my whatsapp number in the video description so that you just go ahead and send me a message on whatsapp just let me know directly that you are messaging me because of the book and i'll send it to you immediately all right so let's go ahead and jump into photopia.com all right so here we are in google chrome so what we have to do is to type in photopia.com so you select it right here and you go ahead all right so this is how the interface will look like just follow me carefully as i take you through so the first thing that you have to do is to go to what we call file okay you go to file at the top here you tap on open now when you tap on open this is when you are going to load your psd mockup file all right you're going to load your psd mockup file so you tap on open then you select the file from your storage so I'll just tap on files, then I'll go ahead and select it. So I'll go to my internal storage, then I'll select the file. And I'll leave this file in the description so that you can go ahead and download it and use. Just watch the video to the end and have access to the password because it is going to be a zip file. Alright. So once you tap on it, it will load. So you just have to wait for it a bit to load once it loads then you continue from there so let's wait for some seconds so it has loaded successfully now the next thing that you will do is to tap on a layer icon over here once it pops up like this what we are going to do is to double tap on the first layer over here which is showing some dotted lines around it okay so double tap here once you double tap another layer is going to open up like this now this is where you are going to place your design now to place your design come back to file again once you come to file tap on open and place once you've seen that just go ahead and select files okay pick the file from your storage so i'm going to select the file i'll go to my recent works then i'll pick the file over here once you pick it it will load in your this one like this your photo peer like this now you could realize that it is being combined with the original mockup that is sign wall it's been combined with it but we don't want that so when you come to layers you will see these two over here the one we imported is the one on top and the original one is the one below so we tap on an eye icon on the original one to hide it meaning it will not show in our working area again so you tap on the layer button back then this is what you have over here now okay you can choose to increase the size of your logo over here by going to edit then go to free transform when you come to free transform you can increase the size of it okay anyhow you want to do it you can rotate you can increase the size anyhow you want to do it 
it's all up to you the one that switch you best you do it okay so assuming this is what i want to do then the next thing that i'll have to do is to go back to file again and this time around we are going to save it as a smart object meaning when we save it as a smart object it is going to automatically reflect on the original mockup as the mockup we did so let's save it as smart object tap on it like this and you wait for it to what to load okay once it loads then you are good to go update it successfully next thing that we have to do is to basically go back to the original file that we imported so you tap on 3d wall the first layer you tap on it once you tap on it you just have to wait for it to load once it loads you are going to see your web reflecting over there nicely all right so let's just wait for it for some second there you go mockup has been applied successfully so the next thing to do is to go to file and go to export as so you go to jpg jpeg then after that you download your mockup successfully all right so you just have to wait for it to load once it loads to finish then you can do justice to it by downloading the mockup successfully all right Tempo.